Hello everyone, Johnny Man here and welcome back to Where in the World. Today marks the last time we will be in Argentina. We have two games to go left in the calendar year and today we take on Newell's All Boys, who are a pretty well-known team, and uh, Rosario Central. So uh, with that in mind, we currently sit third place in the table. So we're going really well right now. Obviously, we are not going to catch River and Boca. They are going to fight it out for the championship, um, but hopefully we can finish in third place. That'd be a very, very respectable finish. Just look at the season preview. We are predicted to finish 12th, and at the moment, we're on track to finish third. So, with a little bit of luck today, hopefully, we'll cap a uh, tremendous season off and we'll finish in third position. So, going into today's game, uh, we are missing a couple of key players. If you look at the bottom here, unfortunately, we haven't got Matias Suarez. He's going to be out pretty much the rest of the year. He might be able to make a return next week against. Um, Rosario Central, Jeez, I can't remember who are playing, Jeez, I'm not out of it today, and uh, unfortunately Yolt Amoroso is unavailable for today's game as well, uh, he actually plays for Newell's All Boys, he's on loan to us uh, for the remainder of the season, so with that in mind, this is going to line up, Acosta, he's hurt, but he's playing today, uh, Gadira at right back, Christian Lima at centre half, Barros with the middle two, uh, then we got, of course, Benitez, Salvatore, Riverado. Um, Sequira makes a rare appearance on the right wing today. Uh, Brunetta is going to play in the hole behind Figueroa. And Bandera, of course, is going to be on the left. So no real surprises to the team. Um, this is a team that's done well. This is a tactic that has largely worked in my favor through my time here at Belgrano. And honestly, it's been, I wouldn't say... An, an epic journey, but it's been an interesting experience, to say the least. Um, there are definitely a number of fun things about Argentina, the Argentine Premier League. Um, pretty much the way that the relegation happens, it's, it's, an average, it's averaged over um, a period of time, not just a one-season relegation. So you've got time to try and build a squad, and, you know, especially if you get promoted, you get a little bit of time, a little bit of leeway to try and work your way into the league. Uh, that's that's actually pretty cool. I I think that's a fun thing about it. Um, the only thing that's kind of bad about it, it's kind of heavily dominated by Baca and River Plate. Um, obviously, they're probably the most well-known teams in the entire of Argenti Argentina. And um, honestly, it's it's kind of a Real Madrid-Barcelona kind of situation. I mean, not to draw comparisons to two uh, Spanish-speaking countries, but generally speaking, it's it's kind of just like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Baca and River. It's, it's very, very similar. And the... The depth in talent in Argentine, Argentine Premier League is actually pretty expansive. I've been very impressed with the level of talent on the top division. Um, it's Generally speaking, most of the teams are really kind of on the same playing field. It's it's actually very, very interesting. And they, uh, the, the, the clubs, I notice as well, are chock full of talent. And honestly, they're very deep as well. I've noticed that, for instance, when I came into the Belgrano squad... I think we have probably close to 30 to 35 players that are good enough to play first team football. Uh, obviously, a lot of our players were actually loaned out. That seems to be a very common thing to happen in the Argentine Premier League. The fact that a lot of a lot of clubs they loan each other players, which is in some to some extent it's, it's kind of weird. Like Amoroso, right? Amoroso, in my opinion, is a quality. Excuse me, a quality right winger. He actually plays for New New All Boys, who are playing today. They're they're twenty seventh on the table, um, but overall, like, I think he's. I mean, he's good enough to get into us, and we're third. We're third place on the table. You know, like it doesn't make any sense. Like we had a, we had a striker as well. A couple of strikers. I can't remember the names off the top of my head because uh, they weren't going to come back and play for me at any point, so I didn't bother learning the names. Um, so we had a couple of players that I wanted to bring back from loan because they were better than what we had in the first team. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. We loan a player in that's worse. We send a player out that's better. It's just a very kind of bizarre situation, and Barros gets a goal there in the 80th minute, gets in there, Pierre. Pierre Barros. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just a very bizarre bizarre place to manage from that, that side of things but all in all there are lots of quality talent and a lot of quality talent available for pretty cheap as well the only issue i find as well um, i've noticed is that at least with my club belgrano we don't have a lot of money my starting transfer budget was like two hundred eighty thousand pounds and that's honestly minuscule uh and that really wasn't good enough to sign anyone um 
<clears throat> that was going to help the team out immediately or that was better than what we had. Um, so well, wait, we finished with a nice one when there, didn't even bother to concentrate. Um, Brunetti got injured too. Is it, how bad is he injured? Once two days, it's not too bad. He'll be back for the next game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but generally speaking, looking up and down the, the, the Argentine Premier Division, it, there's just talent around available. Like even if you go to some team like Arsenal, Di Sarandi, um, you can go through their first team and you can find a handful of quality, talented player. Ivan Alonso, for instance, he's 39 years old, yes, but he's only six, seven, 67,000 pounds and only on 950 pound a week. There are plenty of bargains to have in this division. That's just little things that I've noticed. And uh, not to mention, Argent Argentina are known to produce quality young talent and um, definitely definitely come true if you look at my reserve team the uh the youth intake we did likes of carlos silva it's just a shame really i'm not going to be around to realize his potential the face still cracks me up um and then karate as well another player that no doubt will turn into an absolute absolute beast in the future time but obviously playing playing argentina does have its benefits and i think you know in the future <clears throat> from my experience here i definitely will be revisiting argentina at some point obviously not in this save or this series but I think in the future, I would like to come back and maybe challenge River and Boca and try and dislodge the uh, the two-team domination thing going on right now in uh, Argentina. I mean, of course, saying that, there has been a couple of other teams that have won it recently. If we take a look past the winners, obviously there's a difference between the opening stage and closing stage. Um, you notice that, yeah, there's, there's, been, there's been a few different teams, to be fair, but River and Boca have always been in and around and... I mean, the last couple of years, there's been Barca, Barca, San Lorenzo has been there, Lanus is there, racing clubs, interesting. Uh, Rivers there too, Rivers there. So they've always been in and around. Um, but generally speaking, it, it's pretty much a, a two-team league. At, the, at, at, least in, at least in the first season of Football Manager 2018, it's a two-tier league. All right, um, so we have one more game left to go up against Rosario Central, who looks like they lost in the last match. They actually dropped to place the fifth place now. And uh, I think we're three points clear over the third place team. And we have a, sorry, Rosario actually. Rosario won today, never mind. That was the game behind. Do apologize, I'm all over the place today. And they beat Argentinos. Um, so yeah, we've got a much better goal difference than them. So as long as we avoid defeat against Rosario, um, we should be shaping up pretty good. Uh, they play a very, very defensive formation, though. That's extremely uh, defensive. Uh, Paulo Ferreira. I recognize that name for some reason. Uh, Rosario used to play for River. Don't know why I recognize this guy. Maybe I'm thinking of um, the former Chelsea right back, perhaps. Uh, Ferrari. Um, who else do they have? Anyone else? That looks really good in there. Um, Zampedi. Look at the striker real quick. So a couple of goals. Not had a great record. All right. Okay, we'll just keep moving forward here. Obviously, this is my last episode in Argentina. So I'm going to, obviously, before this episode's end, I'm going to go through the squad again real quick. And I'm going to take a look at the scouting report and see if I can see any hidden gems in Argentina that any of you might be interested in signing uh, if you have the leagues loaded. Of course, it's generally uh, widely um, expected and known in the Foot Manager world. If you do load a new game database up, it's always good to have Argentina on view only, just because they do produce very, very high quality uh, regen players. <clears throat> so that's something, little tip there, little tip, you know, journeyman pro tip. Uh, if you start a new game, just load up Brazil, load up Argentina, put them on view only. You haven't got to have them as playable databases, but just have them available just so you can locate those uh, newly generated players. Because they always seem to produce really, really high, high-end quality stuff. All right, uh, just a couple of days now until the Rosario game, and then uh, we can wrap up the season and then talk about where we might move up, move to next. Um, I haven't really got any plans. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing as I did when I started uh, this series, which is going to be apply to a load of jobs, interview, and um, then accept whatever's best, really. Um, so that's why I ended up here in Belgrano. I had, a, I had a couple of different offers, but uh, the league's already started. That's something I want to avoid as well. I don't want to walk into a situation the league's already started. and uh, Because I want to play one full season, which is preseason, which includes preseason. Because I want to get my tactics in place and I want to be given the opportunity to, to bring in and sign some players. All right, so here we go. The last game of my time here at Belgrano. Um, unfortunately, it is time to say adios. 
Uh, it's been a lot of fun managing them. It really, really has. Uh, they've got a number of quality, quality players. And if you, um, if there's one area of the squad I would happen to improve on, I would say you may want to try and bring in uh, a striker, maybe. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, of course. Um, Figaro has come on strong at the end here, but I mean, it took him a long time to get going. I don't think basically he didn't score his first goal till till January. So I mean, <laughs> is um, I wouldn't say he's had a great season, but the second half of the season has been very impressive for him. Uh, Juan Brunetta though is a player that I I really really love, highly recommend. And I think in the future, when I do other saves, this is the guy I'll be targeting to bring in. He's only valued at £1.7 million. You can bring him in. He is an absolute steal. Fantastic, fantastic player. All right. Um, oh, yeah, what other changes can I make? Alanis is not available. Suarez, unfortunately, will not be playing today. Uh, Ortiz will not play in. Uh, Royas is available. I could could play him, I suppose. But he'll go on the bench instead. All right, so here we go. Time to say adios to uh, Belgrano. This is the last game in charge. Uh, and unfortunately, we're not playing at home. That's a bit of a shame. So we have to go up against a team that plays super, super defensive. Try and break them down. Obviously, goal scoring really hasn't been our forte this season. We haven't really haven't scored a lot of goals at all. Um, all right, so here we go. Finishing off. I mean, all extent purposes, I'm not a huge fan on the new match engine. Um, I think it's largely the same, a little bit more polished, but I do like though. And a second ago, uh, you just saw there was a background of a city. That's nice little adjustments, nice little um, nice little adaptations, I guess, trying to help immersion in the game itself. Here's a chance now uh, for Rosaro. There's Rivas. Oh, good save there from Acosta, who's fully, fully healed again from his injury. <clears throat> All right, so I'm taking this market. I'm actually taking this pretty seriously, despite being on my last game. I really want to finish third place. I really think that would be an incredible achievement. So we're his and uh, come on, boys, got to try and get this ball clear. Come on. There you go. Highlights oh, over. That's good. I love when that happens. Uh, take on the updates real quick. We are still third. Yep, we are still third. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we just have to avoid defeat. If we avoid defeat, then we uh, maintain third spot in the table. All right, balls long. Win it, win it. Nope, can't win it. Okay, there's Bandera. Rivadero to Brunetta. Passing the ball line here beautifully. Very patient approach. Brunetta, Les Torre. Has got many options ahead of him. I don't really like that. There's Amoruso to Gadara. Gadara looking for Amoruso. Can't find him. That ball's. That was a risky pass, to say the least. Not very good ball retention. There's Zampetti. He's playing alone up top, I still, I think. I may put on, yeah, I may add, I may add that formation because I want to see if it changes because, uh, where is it, where is it, Belgrano was our central formation, there you go. Okay, we'll move that around in a second. I want to keep an eye on that formation because they lined up very, very defensive to begin with. I want to see if they open themselves up a little bit um, as the game progresses. These are actually things that I didn't used to do in Football Manager 2017. I didn't used to think about opposition formations all that much. I used to keep a, a general eye on it before we started. Um, but large, largely, I didn't really care about it that much. But when a team's playing an unusual formation like this, this is something I'll definitely keep an eye on. Oh, it's an awful challenge. It's got to be sent off for that. That's an atrocious challenge. That's definitely a red. Yeah, goodbye, Parrot. All right, um, so that's going to be interesting how they change the formation now. <clears throat> Let me see. Is going to show me? Probably not going to show me, is it? I'm not going to be able to see till halftime. So, uh, all right, so, man, we took a lot of fans with us today. That's, oh, that's, a, that's a good amount. I love to see that. That's good. I do like the fact this year there's more of a designated section for away fans. That's actually kind of cool. Um, and it's quite obvious which are the away fans, which are the home fans. I think that's kind of neat. This little little tidbits that kind of make me smile inside. Um, definitely a progression in a positive way. But as you're about to see, I think in a future video, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna talk about some of the issues that I need. Oh fucking! They're down to ten men in the score. We dropped a sick fuck. All right. <clears throat> Forget what I was about to say, and let's focus on this game because I don't want to finish sixth. I want to finish third. I want to go for it. All right, so let's go attack in. Let's put Latora and Rivadero a little bit further forward. 
not really don't really like that do they um Latora board and midfield on support let's do central feeder on defend yep okay we'll do that for now we don't really have any sense midfielders to use unfortunately the two defensive midfielders we have just like to play defensive midfield but they're gonna have to try and support the attackers again I'm, I'm not gonna go down without a fight all right come on boys 30 minutes to try and get a goal here we have on the bench we can try and bring on I want really can Brunetta play sense midfield kind of I guess could go could go could do something absolutely crazy for the last time let's you know what let's let's do it let's let's go absolutely crazy they're down to 10 men they're playing super defensive so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring off Riverdero I'm going to push I'm going to do something absolutely bizarre that I've never done before because why not why not indeed all right so <clears throat> with that in mind let's bring on sorry, Ramos or Garcia let's do Garcia let's do Garcia as an advanced forward because that's what he's good at um let's also bring on Rickenberg to play as an inside forward on the left flank and yep that'll do all right let's see if uh, that'll do anything for me obviously we'll go super attacking as well we'll probably just do overload let's go overload perfect here's a highlight though as long as we don't concede I'll be happy here's uh, Zampedi. I suppose you got the goal there it's time wasting already oh what a goal that was <laughs> Oh dear, it looks like my time in Argentina is going to end in a defeat here. Leonor Rivas getting a goal. Maybe I shouldn't have gone super attacking. I don't know. I just thought, why not? For the sake of the video, let's do something fun and interesting in the last step, last game. And um, oh, apparently I didn't make to make the changes yet. So sod it. Let's go. All right. Um, come on, boys. Just ten minutes to go. Come on, just got to get a goal. Get a goal. See who's gonna get the last goal. I think Juan Brunetta got the first goal in this time at the club. Let's see who's gonna get the last. There's Brunetta again. Oh, and that's fitting if it finished that way. I'm, I'll be happy. Sod third place on the side. Let's see uh, Juan Brunetta get himself another goal. He got the first goal at my time in the club, and it looks like he might get the last. Unless we manage to sneak another here. Come on, boys. Just one more goal. Come on. All right, so four minutes battle on time here. Looks like we're about to run out of time, unfortunately. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Brunetta puts the ball in. Amoroso can't win it in the air. There's Rickenberg. Good it's back to Brunetta. That's a lovely header. You meant to do that. Amoroso, oh, and Garcia rose. But uh, the goalkeeper did well to clean that. I thought it was going to land straight on Garcia's head. All right, balls it long here. Intercepted by Lima. There's Rivas. He got the second goal. Great tackle, that is, from Latora. There's Brunetta. Oh, terrible through ball. Come on. 10 seconds to go here until we say adios to Belgrano. Come on, someone gets stuck in finally. There you go. All right, so unfortunately, the last game as manager of Belgrano has ended up in a disappointing display. So that's okay, though. Uh, we'll take one last look at the table, one last look at the club, and then we will formally, formally uh, resign. So uh, let's look at the the uh, Premier League we finished in fifth place so all all intent purposes honestly fifth place is actually pretty respectable uh, if we look at the season preview uh, look at it again we actually picked to finish 12th and so we definitely exceeded all expectations if we go to the boardroom where's the board now there's there you go, the boardroom uh, let's take a look at my confidence um, things went really well for me here. Um, the light of my leadership qualities you're demonstrating. They haven't offered me a new deal yet, but I, 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 I think that's going to be imminent. And obviously, I'm going to be resigning as soon as we finish this little summary. Uh, dressing room atmosphere went really well. Managerial support went well. Tactics. Um, they're happy with the four two three one. That's a new screen as well. Tactics. I mean, the board's impact. I guess like it's something to do with like. Uh, club philosophy, I suppose. If you're Arsenal, you like to see them play fancy football. Uh, if you're Stoke, then you don't mind the old long ball. Stuff like that. I presume this tactics is is referring to club traditions and things like that. But anyway, that's a little side discussion for later on, I suppose. All right, so we're going to continue. Um, uh, we'll go through the squad one last time, and then I'll formally resign as manager of Belgrado. Belgrano. All right, so look at the squad real quick for one last time. I'm going to clear this out real quick. Um, 
top goal scorer of the season, only eight goals. That's a little pathetic, isn't it, really? Uh, Tobias Figaro got himself eight goals. A little bit of a good run at the end there. He was important in the uh, final running of the season. Uh, Matias Suarez has always played well for me when he's been fit. Otherwise, as you can see, he sustained quite a few injuries in my time uh, from moderate to major. Basically being tackled. He gets tackled, he falls over, gets hurt. That's kind of his thing, I suppose. Uh, then one Brunetta. I can't recommend this kid enough. He has been absolutely superb. Um, all right, so with this in mind, what I'm going to start doing as well is I'm going to start jotting down my favorite players from each league and each team. And then at the end of this series, I'm going to create a little um, little all-time 11 for me, as it were. That should be pretty fun to do. Um, all right. I think that's it. I think it's time to say adios to Belgrano. All right, so how do we do this? I don't often resign. Here we go. Uh, resign immediately. Oh, I didn't know this. This is a new one, isn't it? Uh, resign end of club season. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty interesting. I can tell the board on leave at the end of the season. But decided we're going to do it immediately. So there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Belgrano. It's been fun and why it lasted. It was an absolute pleasure managing you folks and uh yeah thanks for the opportunity i suppose all right so let's do the old ad to remove leagues now what i've done i've already added um, a nation from europe because i've added all other nations that i'm interested in outside of so the first european nation available to me is going to be in belarus um so what i'm going to do by tradition is i'm going to remove argentina completely from the database to make sure our game speed and compute performance is maximized to its potential Okay, um, so we're approaching 21 minutes in this episode. You know what? What I'm going to do? I'm going to start applying for some jobs. And in the next episode, we'll talk about any positions that, uh, any, 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 basically, I'll, I'll um, what I'll do is off camera, I'll apply for a load of jobs now. And then off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. In the next episode, you'll see the final job kind of selection process, and I'll, I'll make a decision live on camera. So that's what we'll do. All right. So, all right. So, Uruguay, Colombia, Argentina, we can't do that. Uh, Hyundai A League. All right. So, here we go. So, we have quite a few different nations to go to, which is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, going to apply for Whitbank Spurs. Um, let's apply for Chong, Chong King. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Newcastle Jets, apply for those guys. Um, America de Cali, apply for them. Uh, let's also apply for Liverpool of Uruguay. Uh, let's also apply for... Why not? Let's go for a River Plate of Uruguay. Why not, indeed? All right, so I've applied for those jobs. Those are the jobs that are immediately available to me. So next episode, I'll have a new club, a new destination. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Uh, what do you think of my time in Argentina? Uh, what do you think of the performance? Anything you found interesting about the Argentine leagues? Uh, if you have any questions about the Argentine league, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more happy to oblige in answering any questions you may have. But uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see more videos by me in the future, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.